Hey, welcome back. Um, you know how these uh, frauditors are always walking around harassing people, smartphones, you know, people like this. This is probably where they come from. Um, with all the defend the police and, you know, the cops are kind of on edge. Well, you know, oh, I want to say thank you to uh, the man right here. He, he's the one that sent it to us. But these guys always carry smartphones and shit like that. But let's think about this. Money. You want money? Got you. Oh, I love my wallet at home. Oh, I have things though. I have things. Hold up, hold up. Half thing of lip balm. That's it's like a buck. What else? Oh yeah, FN57 mag. That's worth like 60 bucks. Hold on. Empty shotgun shell. You don't want that. Uh I got a bolt, grade eight, that's pretty good. And 50 BMG black chips. Those are like 12 bucks a piece. Hey, hold on. Can you just one second? My mama's calm and she's real sick. I'm so sorry. This is embarrassing. I just gotta take this. Uh yeah, that wasn't my mama calling. It's not a phone. That is a gun. Get an idea of the size of these guns. This thing is, it's basically the exact size of a cell phone. It's a little bit thicker, but it is actually smaller than my cell phone. This one is kind of the size of a credit card, except for the width. And you can tell it does have a barrel right there. Let's check out this one first. So this is the life card and it has a little little cute little crazy holster right here. It's the size of a credit card with the height and length, but the width is obviously uh, a little bit wider than a credit card. And it folds out, as you can tell right here. Has a little trigger. There is our hammer. Look at this guy. Yeah, I'd be worried too. You know, but. Put it in park. All right, I'm not getting out. Kyle tries to get Oliver to park the car, no, sir, unbuckle his like, seatbelt, and step out of the vehicle. Exactly what do you got in there? Nothing man? in here. Okay. Nothing. I'm just asking. This is man. my home. Shots fired! Shots fired! Kyle calls Shots for fired! backup, and Oliver Shots takes fired! off, starting a chase. Kyle had been shot, but he never stopped the car. He stayed in pursuit, even while backup was still trying to catch up to the chase. What's that? In the car? All right, partner. He wants to talk to you out here. Is that all your yeah. you got I'll watch it for you. He's all right. I got babies. Oh, you got a dog too? Hell. <laughs> I'll make sure they're all right. I got babies too, man. Huh? Okay. Shit! 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 That's why you stay away from traffic stops, frauditors. You never know. Anything could happen, man. It's not worth it. Yeah, oh boy, look at this. I think the only thing he could run to is the buffet. But anyways, <laughs> oh yeah, he likes wearing tack vest. So you guys are playing a dangerous game. It's just not worth it, man. Get a job. <laughs> kind of scary having them all in one spot here. Sorry, gentlemen, didn't mean to break up your burning. Sorry to break up your powwow. Where you coming from, buddy? Can't see your license plate or anything. Oh, is that where you live? Okay. Do you have your driver's license, sir? 
My driver's license is important. It's not important? No. Can I see your hands? Yeah. Go. Okay. What's it, why is it not important? Because. Because I'm it in part. Yeah, it's in part. All right. What's up? Because I'm driving personal. I'm using my personal property on personal transportation. If you would like me to pull up the case numbers on my phone. No, I'd like you to get your driver's license, license like I asked you, and I'm not going to ask you again. Get your driver's license out, okay. sir. If you would like, call your supervisor because this is the Supreme Court ruling. Okay. With case numbers involved. That's unnecessary. That is 100% necessary. No, it's not. No, it's not necessary. Quit acting like this. This is for all the Floridas, man. Quit doing it. You're not getting anywhere. This is why these cops are like this. Yes, it is. Okay. Because the Supreme Court ruled that I am allowed and deemed to use what? my personal property, which is this vehicle. Where's the license plate on the vehicle? I don't need it because I am using personal property. Hand me the driver's license. What does it matter? Hand me the driver's license. I'm not handing it to you. You can call your supervisor. I'm not calling my supervisor. Then you can call them. Okay, come here. Step out of the car. Step out of the car, I'm going to make you get out of the car. Stop reaching for stuff. I'm not reaching for stuff. I went to unbuckle. Are your, is your radio, is your radio? Get out of the car. Hold on. Video record right now. Pull your phone out. Get out of the car. Record. Pull Get your out of the out car. <laughs> the car was occupied by two men and one woman. Hey, stop digging in your pocket, bro. Huh? Immediately after making contact with the driver, the officer instructed the front seat passenger to stop going through his pockets. Shortly after, the officer asked the driver to turn off the car and place the keys where the officer can see them out of concern that the driver may drive away. Hey, turn the car off. Here, oh, I like gas, man. Sorry. Let me, let me get the keys. Why? Because I'm going to put them up here so you don't take off. Uh, I'm not going to take off. Okay, well, let me uh, get the keys. If you ain't going to take off, I'm just going to put them up here just so you don't take off. It's for my safety. Look, I'm, I'm not. Look. Here you go. Put them up there. Yeah, yeah there you go, bro. Yeah. The officer then asked for the ID of the passenger. You got your ID on you, man? Well, they're just my passengers. Yeah, I'm the passenger. Oh, okay. You know, I'll, 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 and the officer asked the driver to step out of the car after he says he smells marijuana. Okay. Oh, please, please, why? But I told you to. Step out. Mm -hmm. Sir, please. Entry 40 and entry 56. Pop over. Stop reaching around. Turn over to 21. The suspect's gunfire hits the officer in the hand. Gunfire also strikes his police radio. The officer takes cover behind his patrol unit, dropping his weapon in the process. The officer retrieves his firearm from the ground, dropping his radio in the process, and returns fire. Though his gun continues to jam because he is unable to firmly grip the gun as a result of the gunshot wound to his hand. Well, All right, well, we're going to end this one, but now hopefully this was... um. You know, mostly educational for uh, fraudsters, their cult followers, stuff like that. Uh, um, it doesn't pay off to act like you know a jack. I won't say it, but because sometimes things can just jump off like this. Or then you wonder why cops are the way they, uh, you know, they're on guard a lot because of shit like this, man. Think about it. Other than that, have a good day, and there'll be another video coming up soon.